Let's see how dividing by half and half again can help us with our division. Let's say we divide by 2 and we have 16 circles. Well, that's like breaking something in half, sharing it into two groups. So 16 divided by 2 equals 8. Now, dividing by 4 is the same as taking half and then half again. So half and then half again means we've got four groups. But you can do it this way as well. So 16 divided by 4, I like it that way, is four groups and each group has four circles in it. Now what about larger numbers? Well, we can still do that. Let's say we've got 8,646 divided by 2. We can take half of that, which is the same as making two groups. But instead of just thinking what half of that number is, let's take the thousands first and break it into two groups. So I'm going to put each group on the side of the line, one on the left and one on the right. Half of 8,000 means each group gets 4,000. Half of 600 means each group gets 300. Half of 40 means each group gets 20. And half of 6 means each group gets 3. So when we add those together, we get 4,323 in each group. So 8,646 divided by 2 is the amount in one group, which is 4,323. Now what if we had to solve 8,646 divided by 4 this time? We can still do half and half again. So we're going to take half of 4,323. So it's like we've solved half of the problem already, and now we have to do the other half. So let's do the same thing for this number. We're going to get 4,000 and share it equally into two groups. So they'll get 2,000 each. 300 when we share it, well that's 200 plus 100. So half of 200 is 100 and half of 100 is 50. So they get 150 each. And don't forget, you're going to see odd numbers quite often, so thinking about how you might divide by 2 or find half, it's worth practicing. Now 20, which is 2 in the tens place, half of that's 10 each, and half of 3, once again we can give them 1 each, and then there's 1 left, so they get 1 and a half, or 1.5 in decimals, 1 and 5 tenths. Now when we add this up, I'm going to put a decimal point and a zero next to my whole numbers because I want to make sure I'm not going to actually add up the wrong digits because one of the numbers has a decimal point. In fact, it's a good idea if none of your numbers have decimals, that's fine, but as soon as one does, it's a good idea to put decimals for all of them so you understand what you're working with. So let's add our tenths place, and we've got five in the tenths place, one in the units place, 6 in the tens place, 1 in the hundreds, and 2 in the thousands. So 4,323 divided by 2, or shared into two groups, is 2,161.5. But don't forget, our original problem was this. So 8,646 divided by 4 is 2,161.5 because we divided it by 2 and then by 2 again.